Ratzenberger. Thank you. Thank you. I'm certainly humbled to be here as the son of a truck driver and factory worker from Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's, uh, it really is quite an honor. And uh, what we have to remember is for every working man and woman in our great country, that these people that are trying to force this health care bill upon us are not the philosophical descendants of John Kennedy and Tip O'Neill. The philosophical descendants of Abby Hoffman, Saul Alinsky, and Wavy Gravy. These are, these are Woodstock Democrats. How long is it going to take you to bring victory in Afghanistan? And not sit idly while we watch our soldiers being killed. great nation yeah. and may God give us all strength to prevail. Yeah. We have joining us today a gentleman who some of you may recognize who was actually willing to leave the underground bunker yeah. and join us in a spot that he loves. He wrote a book that has set the stage for what's happening right now. It informs us of what the true issue is of our time. Liberty and tyranny. Help me welcome the great one. What the hell is this? <laughs> By the way, the press here, this is about, write this down, liberty. Yeah. You see this building here? Tyranny. You own that building. Yeah. I want to quote Ronald Reagan. Yes. All right. Because he could say things the rest of us could never say. He said... Freedom is never more than one generation away right. from extinction. Yeah. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States when men were free. God bless you. God bless America. Chair, the gentleman of incredible principled character, Mike Pence from Indiana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's an honor to stand with my colleagues, all of the Republican leaders, with Tom Price, Michelle Bachman, and let me say with conviction, the American people are always welcome at the People's House. On these historic steps, President Ronald Reagan said, we are a nation that has a government, not the other way around. Yeah. Fellow citizens, I say, those gathered and those looking on, if you cherish freedom, if you fear the crushing weight of big government, and if you still believe that the strength of this nation is in the character and the courage and the ingenuity of the American people. This is your moment. Now is the time. Be heard. Right here by the hundreds of thousands on September the 12th. They all came to say enough of mortgaging our children's future. They said enough was spending money that we don't have. But most of all, they said enough of the insanity from Washington, D.C., and from politicians who aren't listening to their constituents. Yeah. The town hall rebellion wasn't about one political party or another. It was a simple statement by Americans that they loved their country. Yes. They love our way of life. Right. They love the things that America stands for, prosperity, liberty, and freedom. Yeah. 
And they want nothing more uh, to hand freedom off to their kids and to their grandkids. America's future begins with us. Madam Speaker, throw out this bill. There was a group of school children down there, and, and I was walking by, and the school child, I heard another school child, well, I think free health care is a good thing. And I heard that. Thank you for coming. I can do it.